Hey everyone, this is Rubicon Recon Living, and I'm here to talk to you about what to do if your antenna is too long. And that's the problem I was faced with. Um, I installed my CB and um, installed my antenna, um, have a um, spare tire mount with a quick disconnect and a spring, followed by the antenna and my antenna was too long when I was taking my SWR meter readings. So I followed the instructions provided by Firestick online and initially um, removed the O-ring, the black O-ring, um, and tightened the screw all the way down and the readings were still too high. I then removed the locking nut and replaced the tuning screw and again SWR readings continued to be too high Finally, I removed the tip, so that left me with just the antenna, and the readings were still too high. The option that uh, I was left with was tr trimming the antenna, so I decided to give it a try, and my goal was to try to trim just the thickness of the locking nut. I thought that would be a good starting place. So what I did was I notched the antenna with a hacksaw and then finished the cut with a fine tooth blade on a reciprocating saw and um, that did the trick. Uh, once I cut that small amount my SWR readings were optimal. Uh, my channel 40 reading was 1.4 and my channel 1 reading was 1.1 and I haven't had a problem with it. Um, Firestick will warn you that um, be careful with how much you cut initially um, and to take small pieces uh, and do a little bit at a time because once you cut there is no going back. You can't replace the cut on the antenna and you also can't um, reinsert the screw because cutting it does damage the threading and you won't be able to uh, reinsert your tuning screw into the, uh, into the antenna to gain back some length. Um, what you do have uh, available to you is as long as you're preparing to run the antenna without the tip. If you do cut too much off, as long as it's not significant amount, but if you're in the ballpark, you can replace the tip um, back on the antenna to, to gain some length. Um, my antenna, um, after I made the cut, I put the tip back on and my SWR readings went right back to being um, high, out of range. So I plan to um, just leave the antenna um, running without the tip, adjustable tuning screw, locking nut, and O-ring. Um, so my antenna is basically, uh, that's how my antenna is basically going to look um, when I'm uh, off-roading. Uh, it worked out great for me, and I hope that helps in case you're having the same problem. Until next time, everybody take care and stay safe off-road.